So I'm going to go ahead and let R.C. Sproul explain why heretics truly hate the doctrine of Calvinism. And why do I call most people who are against Calvinism heretics? Because they simply are. It's just the truth. And them not comprehending why Calvinism is biblical reveals that they do not possess a biblical hermeneutic in regards to soteriology and the doctrines that it's comprised of. Now, you don't have to go around calling yourself a Calvinist, but the problem arises when you disagree with it and attack the doctrine. Uh, my, my question is distilling. Uh, is that grace available to everyone, then? God's help to be saved? You mean regenerative grace? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. You know, that's what, that's what uh, the whole point is, is that God is not obligated to give saving grace to anybody. And he sovereignly determines to, be, to have mercy upon whom he will have mercy. And that is his prerogative. When Paul deals with this doctrine in Romans, and he's anticipating the objections that people raise, you know, like, that's not fair. God is not being righteous by not giving everybody uh, the same... Uh, amount of grace. God's not an equal opportunity redeemer. How can that be? And then he has to remind them what God told them through Moses. I will have mercy upon whom I will have mercy. God owes me no grace whatsoever. That's the whole doctrine of election in a nutshell. 